Good morning, everybody. I got a phone call from the warehouse yesterday saying that they want to come and get some spuds. So we're going to go over and grab some uh, gutty sacks, go down to the bottom of the hill. Uh, those Burbanks we raised at harvest time just for us to eat off of. Uh, they're going to take that cellar. And so we're not going to keep running that cellar just for some potatoes for me to eat off of. So we're going to take bags down there, fill the bags, bring them up, put them in the cell this cellar, one here at the shop. Yes, Big Red's still sitting out. We still don't have that building yet. Uh, we've actually hired someone to come put the building up. And I don't know if you can see off there in the distance, way out here. They've got a forklift and a man lift, but they haven't started. So Big Red's still sitting out, unfortunately. See, we've got some, we've got some bags here. We're gonna take these over and we'll grab some of those spots, bring them, put them in here. Well, you can't see, it's too dark. It's dark in here. Can't see me. Well, this bait that we filled last is the one they're gonna come pull. Uh, we gotta move this piler out of the way. This is for our neighbor on the other side. I guess maybe they're gonna move spuds, I don't know. But we're gonna go grab the sample bags, grab something to eat. Loaded up, ready to go, Skyler. Some good eating right there. Yep. Got them. Man, the lighting is just not good. How do you guys not see that? Anyways, so apparently you can't see anything, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> put the spuds in the front of this cellar. They're a different variety. The variety we just put in there are Burbanks. It's what we used to raise. Last year was the first year we haven't raised them for going fresh. We raised some for ourselves, obviously, but uh, we raised all Narcoas last year. There's just a little bit of taste difference between the two, not a lot, but I was raised on Burbanks and I just, I prefer the taste of them. I think they taste better. And that's why we bagged them up and brought them up here. I'll eat a Narcota, no problem with them. I just prefer the Burbank taste. It's kind of funny that I don't raise the spuds that I prefer the taste of. The other ones I raise because they pack better, they're smoother, and uh, they yield better. So I've decided that uh, I need to do a little work on my snowmobile. And yes, it is, uh, it is new, and no, there's nothing wrong with it. It runs great. Well, I mean, the RPMs are not right where I want them for the snow conditions we were in last. So I may have gone and bought an SLP clutch kit to put on it. Uh, just to help it get that power to the ground. Get all those, all those ponies, all those ponies down. Ooh, it's still a little icy in here. Pull the clutch, put some new clutch weights in it. Make it run. Run like a top. Ooh, hey beautiful, how are you doing today? There you go. No more primary clutch on the sled. Sitting right here. Now you can take it back, take this off, replace the spring, pull these out, and pull these weights out. Put new ones in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here's the difference. This is a stock Polaris weight. This is a 1068. This is what came stock on my sled. This is what I'm putting in there. It's an SLP weight. You can see the sweet logo here. Woo! Anyways, see it's hollowed right here. And so you take these screws and you thread them down in here to set it up for the weight that you want. I'm also changing the spring. 
Then if my sled isn't running at the right RPMs, the way you adjust it is by taking these out and putting add, add one more or taking that one out, depending on if you need more RPMs or less RPMs. But it makes it adjustable versus just stuck with what it is and you get what you get. Excited to get this thing put on. Whew. Take this bad boy out for a rip. She's gonna shred some snow. Mm. It's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. We'll try the millennial thing. And boom! It worked! Look at that! Thank you, Millennial Farmer! That is way better. Look at it. It just magically put together. Must be millennial power. Dang, that's a lot better than putting it together yourself. Just snap your fingers and it will fixed. Man, woohoo! Man, that wind has picked up out there. Here, let me show you. By show you, I mean you can hear it. You can't see wind. I can't show you, actually. So, I... See, radio. Sometimes it takes forever, sometimes it doesn't. Who knows? I don't understand it. It must be a Ford thing. Um, it is actually 44 degrees outside right now in January. Thank you, Idaho, for not being an awesome winter this year. Yeah, you can, you can see how much snow we've got everywhere. Tons of snow. So, too muddy to work on anything. Uh, Philip and Skyler, why? I was working on my clutch on my stone bill, washed off the ranger that Skylar normally moves wheel lines off of. We're gonna do a little bit of work to it, gotta get an air filter, service it. Uh, the front differential in it, I guess, has got some slop in it. We're gonna have to take a closer look at that and see if it needs rebuilt. But for today, we're gonna call it. We're gonna go home. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. Peer pressure. Mm -hmm.